I'm sick of it. First, y'all be getting back alley basement veneers. Now, y'all are letting lash techs put UV light on your eyeball. Are you a idiot? How much of an idiot are you? You literally are going to be blind and have cancer in the next 24 hours. It's a UV light. You're not even supposed to look at the fucking and you letting this put it directly on your eyeball for what? Some 24 millimeters? Yes, I'm wearing the same shirt as the last video. Yes, I made two videos in a day, okay? Sue me. Sue me. <laughs> but y'all, I love to talk about a scam. I really do. And I'm not sure if I can really categorize this as a scam. I, okay, maybe I will for me, but you might not categorize this as a scam. So I just did the veneer tech video, right? And clearly that's a scam. There's no way about it. But this might not be a scam to some of you guys. So I know you guys have probably heard of lash techs and people getting their lashes done getting lash extensions, right? There is a new thing going around called the UV LED lash extension. You heard me right, UV as in UV ray, as in the same thing that you put your hands underneath when you're getting a gel manicure, like the same type of light. So apparently these lash checks out here are putting UV rays on people's eyes. What the f What the f is wrong with you? What the f is wrong with you? Can we have a moment of silence for anybody who does this and gets the cataracts? Moment of silence. Okay, now let's get into this. I'm gonna play this video for you real quick so you can see exactly what I'm talking about because you might not grasp exactly what I'm saying yet. And I am a visual learner, so you might be too. So let's watch this and let's talk about it after. Okay, we are trying the new UV technology. Oh, you feel it? Oh, yeah, that was hot. Really? How'd it feel? It felt good. Okay. So clearly the woman just got burnt with a UV light on her face. And the woman who's doing her lashes just continues to do it. Um, and it's her first time using it. Like, I'll give her that. It's a new product. She doesn't really know what she's doing. But, oh my God, oh my God. Um, But if you're not really familiar with what lash extensions are and what the UV light is, let me just explain a little bit. So regular lash extensions are, they take pieces of eyelashes, right? Fake eyelashes. And they put glue at the tip of it and then stick it at the base of your lashes very close to base of your lashes on your actual eyelashes, right? They let it dry and they just keep doing it over and over again until you get your desired thickness. Some people like them big and like dramatic. Some people like them more of a natural look. Now, the difference between eyelash extensions and the UV LED light lash extensions is that they're using the UV light to cure the lashes and it cures them instantly. So it just makes them dry very fast and it makes them be able to speed up the procedure and make it go very fast. And also, by the way, I don't know if a lot of people know this or not. I'm just going to say I don't think they do because I know a lot of people who do this. <laughs> At least here in California, I don't know what any, any other state does. I don't know how any other state gets down. But here in California, you're technically supposed to be either a cosmetologist or an esthetician to be doing people's lash extensions. Now, I know plenty of people personally <laughs> who do eyelash extensions and they've never hurt anybody. And I mean... The eyelash extensions itself is not the safest thing to be putting glue like that near your eye. What it is, what it is, you know? I've tried strip lashes, you know what I'm saying? Like, I used to do it and I really hate it. Like, that's the only reason why I don't wear them. I just hate it and I don't really like the way they look on me. So, I'm not hating on anybody who does that. You do you, you know what I'm saying? You do what works best for you. Yeah, a lot of people just are lash techs out here that I know personally and they're doing that and I don't think they know or understand that they could really get in trouble for not practicing with a license. But at the same time, I don't think it's, I think it's really a non-issue. But when you start messing with UV rays and stuff like that, that's when it starts to get really questionable. Now, I am not a doctor. I'm no ophthalmologist. I'm not an esthetician. I'm not a cosmetologist. I am none of that. But when I hear UV ray, I just assume the same UV light that you put your nails in to get cured for gel nails. Like, that's immediately what I assume. 
But proponents of the UV LED lamp are saying that it's a different magnitude, like a different strength of UV ray. But I don't want any UV ray near my eyes. Like, <laughs> call me crazy, but I really don't want any UV rays near my eyes. Now they have these things that are black pads that they put on the top and the bottom of your lashes, which they're claiming are supposed to help, you know, block the UV rays. But I just really don't trust it myself. I really do not have faith in that because of the closeness that it is to the opening of your eye. Because when they put the eyelashes on, they put them very close to the base of your eye. I don't know everything about UV rays. I'm no chemist. I'm no nothing. I'm not any scientist, nothing like that. I believe UV rays can just emit some type of ray, even if it's not straight on the light, I think it can still like spread out and go around wherever it is. And like I said, it's very close to the opening of your eye. So it can probably get in there and get in a crevice and go into your eye. So since I don't know much about UV rays and UV lamps or anything like that, I found this TikTok detective who is actually in the lash business and he did some great TikTok detective work checking about the safety certificates on these things and the certifications about how they may affect your eyes if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I've shared a few videos on my opinions on the UV LED light craze uh, for doing lash extensions. Just for those that don't know, it's a lash glue that's cured by UV or LED light. And the whole industry is going crazy over it for the last maybe eight months. And over those eight months, I've shared various videos giving my opinions based on the information that I had at the time. Up until my last video that I did, which was basically just saying that it's completely inevitable. No matter the risks, no matter the safety involved, that dream of quicker, better, no reactions, all of that stuff is just taking people's attention. But I'll happily give you my opinion as of right this second. And I want to start by showing you this thing right here. This is the latest development in the LED lights that cure lash glue. Uh, this is the latest one that we're looking into. Now, for the record, the glue itself is no more dangerous than any other normal lash glue. So the question of safety is nothing to do with the liquids involved. They're as safe or as dangerous as just normal lash extensions. The issues come from this thing here. And like I said, I'll happily tell you where I'm at with this thing. Over the last eight months, I've been on a huge journey of education as well as testing. And the truth is, it's all about finding a trusted source for your information rather than just accepting what somebody says. Now, who you trust and what you believe is going to be different for everyone. For example, I have now spoken with five different manufacturers three from China, one from Germany, and one in the UK. I have also been in contact with two different medical professionals that are not linked to the lash industry at all, but they have expertise in this, your eyes. Oh, and one that deals specifically with everything to do with cancers. And here's what I found. The three that I spoke to in China have sent us all of the different light options they do. Again, I think I showed a couple of them in a previous video. There's one that looks like a pen, there's the swan neck thing that you see. There's one that goes around your wrist, which is honestly pointless. And there's one that clamps to your bed. Now, the most important thing about these lights is getting the safety information. Can the manufacturers give us a certificate to say that this passes any sort of safety tests that are required for a light like that to be going this close to the eye or even in and around the eye? And do you know what happened? The three different manufacturers all emailed me the identical safety assessment certificate that was also on a Word document. So you could just edit it as you please. And when you search into the company that did the testing, allegedly for all three of these companies, you cannot get any information from them as to this test. And just for a bit more clarity, the dates of testing on these certificates were all exactly the same as well. The signatures that have been sort of like inserted on there, the random alleged handwriting copy and pasted in, it's all identical, which is a massive red flag straight away. But what's happening in our industry is unknowing lash artists or lash brands that want to bring this to market, they may ask for the safety assessments and that manufacturer may send them that exact certificate. And because they don't know any better and obviously they happen to just trust the manufacturer, they say, oh, thank you very much. It's obviously safe. They get it in and they start selling it. So moving on to the German and the UK manufacturers, they have been working on this system for as long as anybody. And did you know, to this day, they still have not had it passed through any safety assessment tests. And the UK manufacturer specifically happens to be our lash glue manufacturer as well. So we have a good relationship with them. And you know, I mentioned earlier about who you trust. Well, I trust them. And they're just as shocked as we are that this thing is already as big as it is. 
and through my conversations with the medical professionals, I've had a few lessons in light wavelengths, UV, LED, so I now know more than I ever did eight months ago. You can also find online, which again, I don't know how trustworthy they are, but you can find online different industrial studies and tests for health and safety for UV equipment. Because at the end of the day, UV cured glue is used in the industrial industry already. It's already used, it already exists. This isn't like brand new. So when you balance it all together, if the machine itself is set to a certain standard, that can be tested and proven. And if all proper precautions are taken, which means protecting the top lid of the client, lash tech must be wearing a protective goggles because they're the ones staring at it all day. And there can only be a certain time frame of exposure per person per day. If all of those are met, then there is an argument to say that it is a good product that can work. But what's going on in our industry right now and all the different lights that are around that all have the same safety assessment tests that come with no further education, no manuals on how to use it properly and safely, no disclaimer forms that explain the risks involved, and instead just a lot of marketing buzzwords that really sell the dream to lash artists. We're in a very, very scary and risky position at the moment. So from that clip, what I gathered is these manufacturers are full of sh** because why do they all have the same copy and paste? safety certificate that tells me that they never had anybody independently check to see if it's safe or they never actually passed any safety tests and all three of the different independent people he talks to had the same certificate it's given like the same energy as the veneer tech certification certificate like it ain't worth a damn and it's fake and they just did that so they can sell a product and convince the lash techs and people who use this product that it is actually safe on human eyes. But I wonder what UV rays can actually do to your eyes. Y'all know I love to do Google research <laughs> and this is what I found. I found an article from hopkinsmedicine.org saying, UV light ages all structures of the eyes. Corneal damage, cataracts, and macular degeneration are all possible chronic effects of UV exposure and can ultimately lead to decreased vision. The eyelid skin is the thinnest of the whole body. Now, like I said earlier, the people who are defending this crazy technology are saying that the black pads that people are supposed to put around the eyes, like on top of and underneath the eye, it's supposed to do the work of catching those rays but again i think it's just too close to the eye and i would not mess with it okay so i wanted to give an update on the vi's uv lamp blue system and i just wanted to say that um when i first got the product i wanted to just try it out just to see if it'll make a difference in my lash game and i will say that it ended up being just a gimmick um it got gave my client a reaction she did not like it um she was telling me that her eyes were severely red and irritated and um it happened with not only this client but another client of mine so this is not something that i recommend um i would highly suggest that people use the eye patches as well if they're not because um they're saying that the lamp is warm and it's it does recommend that you use them so i would say use them if you're not the best bet in my eyes would be just to avoid UV lash trend altogether. Just get your lashes done like regular, okay? It hasn't killed you yet. If it's not broken, don't fix it, okay? But if after just seeing this video and hearing all this information about the UV lamp and you still decide to use it, then hey, you know, natural selection. It really be naturally selecting, y'all. <laughs> You are really dumb, for real. But yeah, I'll never tell you what to do. Just take this information and do with it what you please. Please let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Would you actually ever try this UV lash extension new trending technology or are you leaving it alone? <laughs> I'd like to know what you think in the comments below. Anyways, I just want you guys to make sure to go outside, get some fresh air, take a walk, and do not be on this internet all day. Anyways, I'll see you later with another video.